to be honest here, you guys make a lot of movies here in the States. Yeah. And there's always a scene where a car comes hurtling along, hits a building or some construction, and always makes it out the other side just before it drops, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You agree with that? You've all seen that oh, shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. What speed do you reckon those vehicles are doing? 70, 80 miles per hour. 90. 90. 50. 50. I would say they might go 100 just to be safe. So pretty quick. What I want to do, I want to drive this vehicle into this. That is three pieces of cardboard tubing with what balanced on the top? Heavy cinder blocks. Three cinder blocks, super heavy concrete blocks balanced on the top. Now, what is the speed limit around here? 35, 40 OK, miles so let's do it at 35 miles an hour. Here we go, guys. Coming in, are you ready? It's time to see where these cinder blocks fall. Can the truck make it through unscathed? Go, go, go. moment, the cinder blocks seem to float in mid-air as the force of the truck knocks the columns from right beneath them. So that actually is what's happening. It's called inertia, and it's an object's resistance to a change in motion. What I mean is objects that are still, like me now, don't want to be pushed over here. And objects which are travelling at a certain speed are quite happy sitting at that speed. Cinder blocks can't fly, so down they come. The only thing bringing them down is gravity, OK? So that's what's happening. So they slowly start accelerating down to Earth and down to Earth and down to Earth, being accelerated by gravity. And before you know it... But not before over 18 feet of truck has safely sped past at just 35 miles per hour. 